So I thought while we were talking about residency and the right to attend a district, it would be important to talk about the Bird versus Livingston ISD case of 1987. So basically this case pertains to a child's free right to public education. So with this case, the plaintiffs are two grandmothers who have grandchildren living in the district of Livingston ISD. These two separate grandmothers have kids from ages five, seven, 10, they're all fairly young. And they've been living with them for, in some cases, four and a half years, other two, but they're the primary caretaker of these kids. The problem that Livingston ISD has is that they don't feel like they should attend their district because these caretakers aren't legal guardians and they don't have lawful control of these kids. So since they're not technically their legal guardians, they're not wanting to give these kids access to Livingston ISD public education. So the question is, can these kids attend the district that their grandmothers live in, Livingston ISD? Well, the court found that yes, they can under two different clauses. So the Texas Education Code 21.031 says basically that every child in the state who's a citizen of the United States or a legally admitted alien and who's over the age of five years old and under the ages of 21 should have a right to public education. Well, it also says that you have to be living with a person that's a parent, a guardian, legal guardian, or has legal lawful control over this kid. Well, since that's not the case in this case, um, I went to a different clause that says, in order for a person under the age of 18 to establish a residence for the purpose of attending the public free school separate and apart from a parent, a guardian, lawful control person, um, it has to be established that their presence in the school district is not for the primary reason of attending their public free schools. So they have to be sure that you're not just trying to get in the district because that's the district you wanna be in. It has to be determined that this is the only place you can be. You're there because no one else is there to take care of you. These are your caretakers. So what they found with this case is that that's absolutely true. They weren't just trying to get in the district to be in Livingston ISD. So also, the court found that them not being able to go to Livingston ISD violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. And basically that clause is saying uh, it provides that the state shall not deny any person within its jurisdiction. Since they live in Livingston ISD, they should be able to go to school there. So in conclusion, the court decided that each of these children is a bona fide resident of LISD and they are entitled to attend school there.